Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to machine and join a stretcher or strainer frames with the Hoffman dovetail joining system. The sample material I have here is about inch and a quarter thick and about inch and an eighth uh, wide, so almost square. Now usually when you process molding, whether it's for picture frames or for cabinet door or any, any type of frame, uh, the key ways would be routed from the back of the molding and pretty close to the face, but we would make sure that we don't break all the way through for obvious reasons. On strainer frames, we found over the years that it's much easier to assemble them with the keys from the front because we have this machined lip here for the canvas and once the canvas is attached, uh, you really don't see the front of the frame, so having the keys in the corner is not an issue. Uh, if you set the frame down face side up, it sits nice and square, you can drive the keys in without an issue. If you were to assemble it from the back, you'll see how the molding tends to tip down. It could still be done, but it's a bit more cumbersome, it takes a little bit longer. You may have to put a little spacer underneath here to keep it straight. And there's no need for that extra work if you can assemble it from the front. So for inch and a quarter thick material, we use a one inch dovetail key. Uh, again, usually we would set the routing stroke on the machine to one inch. In this case we set it about inch and a half because we want to cut all the way through. The machine I'm using here is the Hoffman MU2 manual dovetail machine. Um, the same setup, same operation in principle is used on the MU2P, the pneumatic version of it, as well as the X20, X25 and then even the X15, the smaller manual machines as well. Got my routing height set here, like I said, about inch and a half, so I have a little room. And my miter plate here in the center is moved in and out, and that adjusts the location of the key weight on that miter face here. And on a small piece of molding like this, I want to run the key about in the center to get a nice tight joint. So I set this up. I don't have to be dead center because once I lock this plate here in place, the same cut will be made on all the parts. I'm going to start and machine all of the uh, all four pieces right now and uh, then we'll assemble it. Okay, all four pieces are routed, we're ready for assembly. 